Good morning friends, on today's video I'm going to give you an update on the baby bird that had a hurt foot. It's been a week since she was at the vet, and this morning uh, is going to be the last dose of the antibiotic for her. I'm not going to medicate her anymore, so that's going to be a, a relief. It's not really such a big deal anymore. We have fallen into a routine. But I want to show you how well she has healed up. It is just amazing. It is miraculous. I am so thankful for all your prayers and thoughts and well wishes and kind words. And, of course, Lolita's in the background. She's talking over me. Uh, it's chaos as usual this morning. So let's get right to all right, I'm going to let Catherine mix this up today. I'm going to wiggle this around so it's seen a little better. She's not able to see the, the camera screen. What are we doing, Catherine? Tell us. Making baby bowl formula. Speak a little bit louder. <coughs> Making baby bowl formula. What kind of formula do we use? Uh, I don't know. We're using the Hagen's Tropican dry powder formula. Yes, and just like some warm water. Links to everything is down in the description, and we're using hot water. You want your formula to be about 100 degrees. Follow the instructions on whatever formula it is that you're you're using. Now, if we want all this, you can just buy uh, like the board pellets you use and grind them up. Well, some people do that, but it doesn't have as much vitamins as some of the baby birds need. Yeah, let's. Uh, Lolita, there's not a pretty cat in the house right now. She's mistaking me. Are you a pretty cat? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to come back when I get this all mixed up. Okay, we got this all done. Catherine, can you hand me the little green baby? So? Now you noticed in lots of my, all, all of my other baby bird videos, I've covered my little table with a towel. I'm not doing that anymore. Don't want to take any risk of threads wrapping around the feet. It's just uh, too scary of a thought. Owie, 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 owie. Here, baby. You're lots of risk now. Look, this is that normal green that he's already sold. Look at that beautiful color on the wings and the tail. Hey, sweet guy. Lolita, please, huh? Here, 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 here. He's so hungry. Look at that. Good morning, baby. How's your breakfast? I'm going to give him oh, about 10 cc's more. 10 cc's. So that's, that's got him all full. Now they eat a lot at this stage. And then they're going to start eating seeds soon. And pellets and fresh fruits and vegetables. And then they're not going to take so much formula anymore but just look at how how adorably cute he is just just look at that okay so we're gonna put him back and get the little blue one out and give her her medicine and get her fed she's peeking out of the brooder and she is ready and hungry so let's do that all right we got the princess out look at that Look at her stretch. Oh, she's just adorable and so cute and so beautiful. I oh, look. The foot, the swelling has all gone down. You can see that there's still that little, the ring around her foot. That's the injury. That's probably going to be a scar. The dart that you see is the scab, the, you know, the dried blood from where she had her little surgery, having that string removed. But... Her wings are just, oh, they're angelic, aren't they? Yes, they look like hard Now, we don't know for a fact that this is a girl. We don't know for a fact that the green one is a boy. It's just, this one looks more feminine, even though it's blue. It's, it's just a, a pale, pale blue color, a baby powder blue. I, I guess it's a boy color. I don't know. I think it's a boy because it has, like, a wing line that's like it's trying to... Oh, uh, it's too young to have the uh, wing, baby. I see it. Yeah, they have a shadow line. And also, this color bird, this coloration, their head is lighter in color than the rest of their body. Oh. It's a, a pallid, it's a blue, but it's also a pallid. And so their, their heads are, as an adult, her, her or him, the head will be solid white, the tail will be white, and the wings are going to be that beautiful gray color. Look, I love how she spreads them out when she's trying to squeeze through my hands. 
I'm not making her do her wings like that. She's just trying to. Well, she's so trying to get closer to me. Let's give her her medicine. This is the pain medicine, the anti-inflammatory. It's meloxidil. This is the one where it's just. Oh, it's just a tiny little drop. He diluted out the amoxicillin so that I give him a, a larger quantity. But again, it's diluted. This is 0.02 Lolita. Hush. Hush. It is only 0.02. Can you see the numbers on that? It literally is just a single drop. She does not like this. She'll take it, but I mean it. She, well, she's doing good today. Yesterday, last night, she shook her head and it, you know, it's not much, but it went everywhere. And I just rinsed that out with water just to get it, uh, to rinse the syringe out and uh, get that medicine down her little throat. Now this other, there's not much left in here. This is the amoxicillin. Like I said, this is what doctor, the doctor, the vet was able to, uh, dilute out for us. He, he mixed it up so that it's for her weight. So how much of that do we need for her? Well, it's one point or point oh gosh, point one five cc's. So that much. Now to you can see the difference in diameter of these syringes. Each of those dots is one cc. So over door. here, you can see the difference. And that bottle is... Almost empty. Well, it's empty. I would have to put water in there and slosh yeah. it around. I may do that tonight just to Matthew be done. Door. Yeah. Come here, little baby. Up, yeah. come here. You know what? She's probably going to spit that out, too. She knows that that's not her, her breakfast. Hi. Okay. Get a little bit of water. Lolita, hush. I always say nobody wants to hear you, but in fact, absolutely everybody wants to hear you. They think you're hilarious. I think you're annoying. I don't just put out too hard. There, you're, you did good. Here, put that on there and put that away, and I'm going to go ahead and give her her breakfast. Come on, baby. We got to come up with a good name for you. Pearl, yeah, Angel, Snowflake. Cat. I was thinking Icy. Well, I was thinking something like Esther or Veronica or Eugenia. No, Icy. Because Icy can be a full boy or a girl. You need to come up with something, something cute and funny. Icy. Yes. Why, because she was born in winter? And also she kind of looks like Ice. Yeah. Alabama doesn't really have a winter. Oh, there's just a tiny little bit left in the bottom of here. We give this to Squirt Blossom just as a treat. It's not going to hurt her. She does still get her Lori Nectar every day and fruits and Can we get Squirt Blossom vegetables. Out? We're going to get Squirt Blossom out after we put Icy up because yes. Squirt Blossom gets a little too excited nowadays. Because she loves her little baby. Yeah, let's get Squirt Blossom out. And here's this pain. Pain, 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 pain. You are my pain in the squirt blossom. Do you know that? Squirt blossom is a perfect lorikeet, also known as an olive-headed lorikeet. She used to be grouped in the same genus as a... Well, you know what? She may still be. I'll have to look that up. She is ever so slightly related to the rainbow lorikeets. It's a food if you want it. Uh-oh. You spilled it. <laughs> you do that every Here. single time you, you give it to me. Nope. Here. Look at that. <laughs> She's hilarious. Look. That it's not her day one. You got a little something on your beak. <laughs> you wiped it on me, didn't you? <laughs> She's stepping in it. Everybody loves a squirt blossom. <laughs> step up, step up, step up. She doesn't know how to step up. She knows how. She just won't. She's just so hyperactive. You know, having her sit on your finger doesn't really work because she's just going to twirl around, jump off, and... And just be silly. <laughs> Are you my funny bird? Huh? You also Here, have a lot of funny moves. Can you twirl around in circles? See, Belly does that, Daddy. She does that. 
<laughs> Belly, though. No, we redid Moose's cage yesterday. Or it's not Moose's cage. Moose has a great big giant cage. It's Lolita's cage. But lives when we let Lolita out of her cage, she doesn't go to the top of her cage. Not ever. Um, very rarely. What she does is she gets down off of her cage and she goes and she talks to all of the lizards and snakes and frogs that Catherine has in my bedroom. And what happens is when we let Moose out of his big cage, he comes and crawls and he, he stays on top of Lolita's cage. And so it's just kind of that... that symbiosis that they have. They they share the top of the cage. Yes. So Moose had basically destroyed the top of the cage and we rebuilt it up. Oh okay, so Goofball here <laughs> flew off the table and got into a cobweb. And into a and cobweb. You see she's wet. She went she flew down to the rim of the tub where the little water turtle is and then she decided to jump in and take a bath and she's got duckweed all over her and just a, she's just a mess just a mess you're a mess you're rotten and spoiled you, you stink you're, you're a mess you're a mess guys I told you it's chaos This is chaos. This is this is green chaos that, that squirts poop. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna put the birds up, we're gonna clean up the mess. I hope you have an amazing weekend and come back Monday and we'll get to see Moose's makeover and be excited about that because he's having a ball up there. I'm not going to show you right now, but he is, he's dancing, and he's, he's just so happy. So, God bless you. Be sure to subscribe. We love you. Bye-bye. All right, Catherine, we got this too close up. We're, we're bumping. Let's start over. That was confusing. Okay, let's see what we got. Catherine, turn the air.